What the heck am I looking at right now? So you're probably wondering, Kevin, why are you playing Redfall right now? Isn't this game dead on arrival? What's the point? And yeah, you would be right about that. Well, the reason why I'm playing it today is because, well, Redfall received a rather sizable update that addressed a lot of fan feedback about the game and hopefully made it a little bit more enjoyable to play. So I thought, okay, let's jump in and play this game. I actually didn't play it at launch because one thing I actually kind of didn't know when the game was releasing. And then when it did release, well, I think we all know what happened. I mean, it was kind of a flop and botched launch. I mean, even the big guy himself, Phil Spencer, came out and said, like, yeah, we kind of messed up this game. A big change for your console players is that they recently got a 60 frames per second update, which is really great for your console players because we all know that the game was locked at 30 frames, which for a first-person shooter game, honestly, not nowadays, that's not a good. And there were a lot of gameplay improvements made with this as well to make the game a little bit more dynamic. But I'm trying to play around with this one guy here. Now I'm not playing on the highest difficulty. They did say that you would see more evasion, but like as I'm just doing simple strafes left and right, this player's the sands out in the open basically. And well, yeah, it was a pretty easy takedown. One thing they actually did is that they increased open world enemy population and created new encounters. So hopefully the open world aspect of this game shouldn't feel so lifeless, I guess is the word to put it because that's one thing i heard but one thing that i didn't hear are actually stealth takedowns right here if you have a stake which i don't have right now sadly but one melee to the back made it pretty easy we'll definitely need to find the stake and try to showcase the stealth takedowns in this video man i really wish you could pick up the weapons that you kill players for but you can't which is really interesting gameplay mechanic so i really kind of wanted to jump in and see like is redfall still as bad as everyone said it was we'll have to check it out but here's our first vampire encounter at least oh he's very angry at me this guy definitely can take a take a few shots that's for sure but i can just kind of sprint right past him oh but there we go they hit me pretty hard on that one. Oh sheesh all right what's this right here i can't kill him with a stake because i don't have a stake or anything wait so he's just back up Use a staked weapon to finish off Roman World Vampires? Where's my staked weapon then? There it is. There it is. There we are. Where's our staked weapon? Let's get him in the heart. So you're not the most dynamic fight possible, really, but obviously we're in an introductory phase of the game. I just want to say the character model choices in this game are interesting. They all seem to have like gigantic hands compared to their head size. Like, look at this guy's hands. You're making your hands are like three times bigger than your dang head, man. Now, yeah. see, they, they do these cutscenes to try to give you more information, but like, no I honestly don't know no what's going us. on <laughs> all right let's get out to the open world because that's where like a lot of the main fixes that came with this update really took place you know that's actually kind of a cool looking gun though now in the past shows it did state that they helped with the ammo pickups when it comes to early game pickups around the fire station area for new players to help maintain items and things like that which is obviously can be great to help smooth out that early game experience i know the biggest fault with this game from what i heard from so many people talking about it, is that the open world is very open as in there's not a whole lot going on and apparently that's what was fixed with this update and it fixed a lot of scenarios where enemy combatants would just get stuck on geometry and for you control players out there there were a lot of fixes that were made to mainly the aim assist and the different kind of curves you can play around with you can see what you like and what fits best for your gameplay but for me i'm playing on mouse and keyboard so so a lot of those changes when it came to the controller settings doesn't really affect me a whole lot. Well, the sights and silencer barrels have been updated to improve reticle visibility, which is great. A lot of these changes are really small, minor kind of stuff. But you can kind of see from just when we're playing just now that the open world stuff doesn't really feel very well populated. And any encounters you do come across are very isolated. This looks super freaking janky right now. I'm gonna reload and shoot. There we go and stab i mean it's actually kind of satisfying to stab these vampires but hey we did just get a sniper rifle though so we definitely have to test out to see if there's anything to shoot at uh of course there wouldn't be you just get to have the sniper rifle but don't really get to use it that's cool now the reasons why i avoided playing redfall is really just because one i wasn't really on my radar when it came to games i really wanted to check out and play and then two from everyone's experience from after playing the game they were not uh very glowing reviews but i was curious with this recent update if it was something that people would actually be jumping back in and wanting to play the big ominous cave is there anything in here instead of right behind and stealth take out no like isn't that how stealth takedowns work in video games you stand up right behind them you melee it seems like a lot of the encounters you just kind of just walk up behind enemies they're just kind of standing out in the open not really doing anything not even patrolling just standing around okay so i just died and it just spawns you right back 
at the freaking fire station? Are you serious? You really gotta make me run all the way back over. So at least I get to keep all my weapons and stuff, but dude, like you gotta make me spawn all the way back at the fire station? You realize how far away that is, dude? Like, look at this. We're talking 600 meters away. That is a jog. Oh, we have some cultists over here. I just wanna get the stealth takedown, man. Come on, just let me get stabby with it. Oh, I got the whole neighborhood angry now. Damn it. Don't worry, we spawn back at the fire station so we get to run all the way back over there once again. So you just got like guys who are just kind of standing on the open, just kind of doing whatever, not really doing anything. Check out the silencer here. Not too bad. Is this our time now to get this stealth kill on this guy? Oh, I'm coming for you, dude. Just don't turn around, whatever you do. Damn it, he did it! God! Don't worry, not all hope is gone. I did find this guy right here. Just don't turn around, whatever you do. Slay. Is that the... No. Is that the stealth takedown they were talking about, really? It, I guess that's the big new addition? I'm surprised something like that wasn't already in the game. Am I doing this right? Yeah, just kind of running through the open world. See if we can find anything to shoot while we're on our way to our mission. Then we have to run halfway across the map just to get to again. Again, we're walking in the middle of the night down the street with all these lights on. And I'm not really seeing a whole lot of stuff. Still just kind of running through this neighborhood, running to the checkpoint that we need to go to. Oh, what the heck is this thing right here? It just kind of popped up out of nowhere. Oh. Uh, all right, it's gone. So I'm not quite sure what this is all about or how to combat this situation. <laughs> because we just kind of do the same thing as we're doing before. Just shoot a bunch of times and then eventually they die. You stab them and stuff like that. Not the most dynamic fights of all. And then we just go stabby. All right, sure. So yeah, it seems like the encounters in this game are very just, you don't come across a whole lot of people, basically. You come across like a couple, a handful of bad guys, and then you just kind of shoot them and then they, they go. Like, it's not really that crazy of situations you come across, especially like, look at this thing. Once you get a sniper rifle this early on in the game, you just easy headshot, problem solved. Now, I don't know what these glowy things do. They come to you and then they, that, that's it. I don't know what that's all about. The thing is also like, this is the very beginning of the game, right? This is where you kind of want to wow people and get them excited about playing the game. It seems like it just kind of throws you into the open world right away. And doesn't really like teach you of how to play the game or kind of give you any examples of what to do. I think it just kind of assumes like it's a first person shooter game. You know how to play these, right? Yeah, go out in the open world and go do your thing. I like how we talked about earlier how the enemies don't get cut on geometry. Oh my gosh, there's someone. And then uh, we just got a great up example of someone actually getting caught on geometry. Yeah, there's nothing really in the beginning of this game that gets you infested to play. We just get a new assault rifle out of the deal, so we have to try this out for sure. And it says improved vertical visibility, but it's so small on the screen here, it's kind of tough to actually see. Again, more running through whatever this world is right now. I guess it's like, okay, we'll give you a breather to run to the next point of interest because the last encounter was just so intense. What does this... What is this? Look at this guy. What was that? <laughs> you see that moonwalk to me? That was hilarious. And this thing, like these vampires, they just kind of like run directly at you and they do like a swipe maneuver. You kind of run off to the side. They miss like that right there. Shoot them a bunch of times, give them a nice little stab and there you go. Oh my God, I need to run another 600 meters to get to the next crash site. I don't know about that, man. 